What's up guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on a rendering issue I had with Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, I've been doing some rendering this weekend, some video editing, and I had this issue that kept coming up where at a certain point of the rendering process, it would freeze, which means you'd have to force close it, hoping that you'd saved beforehand. And no matter what I did, all of the forums, all of the videos, all the guides I looked at wouldn't solve the issue I had. So after some playing around for a while, I have found a way of actually fixing this. So this is what I want to share with you guys now. Okay, so this is Vegas Pro 17 that I've opened up now. It has had the same issue on Vegas Pro 15, so I'm sure it's probably across those, those platforms. So it shouldn't make any difference, uh, but we'll see how we get on now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is I'm just going to grab any old video and uh, use this as an example to say maybe this is going to be our... So I've got my screen over here, so just imagine I've got this open with my files. I'm going to drag and drop them in. Okay, so we're going to take this footage here as an example, which is some old game footage that I had. I'm going to click no on that. As you can see, this video is around one hour, about a f one hour, 41 minutes. So it's quite a long video. Uh, I had the issue over the weekend with the video is only nine minutes long. So I don't know if it's down to a time thing or what the issue was. However, there's a good chance if you've got a large video, it may happen through the rendering process that it fails. So what we want to do to get around this issue now is we want to find out where in that render process it stops. It fails, it crashes, it hangs, whatever it's doing. So try and pay attention next time you start rendering that video and find that point. So for an example, if we have this video here and it stops around this point here, okay? What we're gonna do is we're almost going to render the video, but we're gonna do it in two parts. So <clears throat> you get the first section here, you find out exactly where it was freezing or take it just before. You then wanna grab that as you normally would, go up to file, render as and save put it under something referencing that you can find that's easy enough so so and so video part one render that get it complete and remember where you put the file okay so once you've saved and rendered that first part of the video file you want to render as a whole i've just split it up just to see just to show you where the two parts have come so that's your first one pretty much that you've just rendered you then want to find out exactly where you were from the first section onto the second. And then you're going to do the same process once again. You're going to grab it. You're going to do that. You're going to then go up to the top, render as, select the file type or the render options that you normally select under the customizable templates. You're going to save it under so-and-so video part two. And you're going to allow that to render. Now, fingers crossed, you should have both parts then fully rendered. If not, don't panic. Just try and maybe cut them into smaller chunks. It doesn't matter how many times you do this, other than the time it takes to do, it will be a, a while. So if you have to cut it into three sections, into four sections, into five sections, into six, it doesn't matter. Just try and render all your files and label them part one, two, whatever. Okay, so once you've got those rendered sections, those parts that you've all just done individually, what you want to do is you want to find where those rendered parts are on your computer, wherever you save them. And I'm just going to say delete that section there. And just imagine I've just put in part one now. So I've got that rendered. It's a fully rendered section. You're going to do the same thing as you usually do. You're going to grab it and then you're going to drop the rendered section into here, which is part one. You're then going to get part two. You can do this exact same process and you're going to link them in like so as rendered part two and however many more you have to make in order to get this complete. So what we've done here basically is you'll have two fully rendered files in your timeline. You've then linked them together in the middle like you normally would to make basically a seamless endless section like so. See if I'll still do that. So that's literally gone straight across. You can't see or tell that it is two separate rendered videos. Once you've done that, you want to do the usual process of when you finish rendering a finish editing a video. You want to get the whole thing. You want to highlight, go to file, render as, and then go through that process again. Now, because they are two fully rendered file size uh, types, 
I don't understand why it does it, but it seems to work. This solved my issue. I know there are like disabling the hardware acceleration and, and other options, opening runners admin. That has helped some people, but that did not help me. I didn't find this tutorial, this guide, or any of this idea. It's just something I came up with. I thought, I've got nothing else to lose but to try it, and it worked for me. So all you're going to do is render that as usual. Once it's complete, you should be able to open your video and have your full rendered video as a whole all working and ready to go. So there you go. That is my tutorial on how to get over the render crashing hanging stalling issue on Vegas Pro. I hope it helped you. I know it really helped me this weekend because I could not find a fix for this at all. I was literally pulling my hair out. I was all, almost ready to give up on the video and just think, you know what, I I need to I need to cut loads out, I need to make it smaller, I need to do something to get along this or, or just completely ditch it all together. Um, this was literally a last ditch attempt to see if I could get it working and it actually worked for me. So I really hope that anyone that does have issues or have had issues find this helpful and it works for you. So if you found this helpful, please leave me a like and even better a subscribe. I am on my road to 100. Um, I hope this tutorial really did help you. Let me know in the comments if it did, if you've got any other problems, if you want to see any more tutorials like this, let me know right down in the comment section and I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much.